Welcome back to this DC Universe Online Let's Play and look at what we've got this week folks. We are here for our weekly League Alert run and will you check out the turnout this week of the Super Zeros here in the Watchtower in DC Universe Online. Look at these guys, what a turnout we've got. This is super awesome. This is super amazing. This is the Super Zeros. Will you all look at these guys and gals? As always, every week, of course, we congregate here in the Watchtower to try and do a League Alert run. And you can see the Super Zeros are growing every single week. Will you look at the costumes as we scan around here? I'm being dwarfed in the middle there by the most amazing League on the entire game. Look at the creativeness of these guys there is no way I'm going to be able to read out everybody's name so I'm just going to pan around here and hope that we get everybody in the shot look at these costumes they are absolutely incredible seriously guys you absolutely put me to shame look at that we've got somebody lying down across the top of everybody we've got shape shifting going on we've got wings we've got baseball hats we've got slick leather suits we've got hoods we've got cat in the hat hats we've got skirts we've got capes Oh my god, it is absolute, as someone's saying in there, absolute chaos. And of course, we completely take over the watchtower. And everyone says, oh my god, look at the Super Zeros. They are awesome. And you know what? They are absolutely right. So here you go, folks. As always, just wanted to show off the amazingness, the awesomeness of the Super Zeros. We had a winner this week for our free Steam game, and that was Flash's Revenge. They won themselves a copy of Left 4 Dead 1 just for turning up so folks if you'd like to do the same if you'd like to win a free copy of a full steam game every single week all you need to do is come along and be part of the fun here and that's all it takes we have a random number draw and someone walks away with a free game every single week all right so that's it just wanted to show you the awesomeness of the Super Zeros once again. This week we're going to be either running alerts or doing some PvP. We'll figure that out very shortly. It depends who gets in the group. And of course, we'll see you just before we head in. Alright folks, back soon. And here we are folks. We've got our team for this week's League Alert run. And as you can see, they all look absolutely amazing. Introducing... On the left here, we have a new member of the Super Zeros League Alert run. We've got Fiery Dragon, looking absolutely amazing in green and gold. And actually, I'm particularly fond of those colours because those of you in the know will realise that green and gold are the colours of Australia. So I'm not sure if Fiery Dragon is from Australia, but inadvertently, they've chosen my country's colours. So I salute you, Fiery Dragon. Great to have you along. Down here in the front, we have have Valgear and Valgear has been on a couple of our League Alert runs in the past and in fact you may remember him from one of our normal Let's Play episodes way back in the beginning. Valgear, good to have you in the blue and silver and of course you can see Valgear is DPS there. And rounding out the team on the right here, will you look at that outfit? It is a Frost Strike. How's that? Two lucky weeks in a row. Frost Strike has made it into the League Alert run. Two weeks in a row. That's amazing. Look at that outfit too. And you can see Valgear has shape shifted into an ice form there. Look at this. Frost Strike is looking amazing with the silver and the electric blue and the wings. That is one heck of a costume there. That is absolutely amazing. I am, as always, so proud to be part of the Super Zeros. These guys absolutely rock. Their costume creativity is amazing. Absolutely putting me to shame as always. Now what are we going to do this week? Well it's an interesting one this week because we had the option of perhaps doing some PvP. By popular vote though what we're going to do is try and check out the alerts because they've been updated of course in the new patch. Now you may have noticed in my promo for this particular episode I was talking about the new role optional patch now you can see here we've got a tank and we've got two DPS's and myself now I'm also a bit of a tank not too good though fiery dragon of course is going to take on the role of a tank there uh, I'll probably do DPS but we don't really have heals now what that means is that we're going to test out this new role optional feature that's been bought in via update 9 and yeah I don't know how it's going to work a couple of people in the league have said oh it's not that great we shall 
DLC. Now, what that means, folks, is we're going to pick something just a little bit harder than normal. So if you have a look, you're probably familiar with all of the runs we've done in normal mode here. Bloodhaven, Oolong Island, Gorilla Island, Area 51, etc., etc. But in the hard mode here, hard T1, there are a couple that we can actually attempt. And one of them here is the Watchtower Containment Facility. And you can see that's a four-player hard T1 alert. And it says here the Watchtower's Containment Facility is on full alert as prisoners erupt from their cells and a countdown begins on the main reactor. The Justice League needs you to contain the danger. Well, we're going to give this a crack. It's a bit of a stretch. It requires combat rating probably of near 30, which is all I've got. And of course, without a healer, it's really going to put to the test this new roll optional mechanic. So there you go, folks. Whether we're biting off more than we can chew or not, I honestly don't know. But that's what we're about. Why not have some fun and excitement, see how we go in the Watchtower Containment Facility. You know how it works. We've got ourselves a full four-player team already, so we're not going to have to queue. As soon as I click on this, we are hopefully going to have it pop. So let's give this a go. The Watchtower Containment Facility, a hard mode tier one alert with the Super Zeros. Let's see how we go. And of course, I'm going to choose tank and damage. We'll see what the other guys do choose. There we go. Waiting for the other group members. We've got Fiery Dragon. We've got Valgear. And we've got Frost Strike. And you see Valgear has chosen DPS, Frost Strike, DPS. Fiery Dragon may choose Tank. No, they've, yes, they've chosen Tank. And here we go. We are about to enter the containment facility for the very first time in one of our League Alert runs. Hard mode Tier 1 under the new Update 9 rules. Here we go. Let's see what happens. All right, so let's form up. And you can see here. We have got ourselves a couple of objectives already. And it's, what have we got? We got reboot the security terminal and stop the prison break. Look at these guys shape shifting all over the show, looking absolutely fantastic. Oh my lord, seriously. All right, let's have a look at the map, shall we? And see if we can find out the objectives. You can see the watchtower is basically one big long linear instance and it's a little bit different than some of the other ones that we've done some of the normal mode alerts which are broken up into sections this still is broken up into sections but of course you can see it's basically one long you know what it reminds me of every time i play it actually it reminds me of final fantasy 13 that's what playing final fantasy 13 is like and you can see we're right at the beginning here it's rather a large instance and you can see we've got city, district, and streets. We can actually zoom in, uh, which is quite cool for an alert. So our first objective, yes, is to reboot the security terminal and stop the prison break. Now, before we go on, just want to make mention here of Frost Strike. Very important. Frost Strike actually gave me a couple of pieces of gear before we started, and I'd just like to say a very big thank you to Frost Strike for doing so. I got myself here a new weapon, a new hand blaster. There you go, there's the stats. And pause the video if you want to see them. Also got myself Harley's Sinister Masquerade. Got a nice, look at that, nice headpiece there, which also has a yellow socket. And we'll do that later on. And also got myself Sinestro's Banded Gauntlets there. And you can see that they have a lot of defense and a red socket. Now we could pop some of these things in, but of course I haven't done my R&D yet. And we'll have to yet do an episode all about the crafting in DCU because that's new. But once again, new items here, new weapon, a new new headpiece and new gloves so very cool all right let's give the signal let's do it let's head on forwards and of course Number you know what five. that means it's time ready to rock and roll here we go and we've got fiery dragon will be the tank i'm going to do basically a backup tank job Continue of course i'm not going to be anywhere near as good the rioting prisoners will arrive at any moment readying anti-riot armaments all right, so you heard him. Here we go. Into it, into the fray we go. And the first thing is, is that we have to reboot these security terminals. And we've got these guards. Guards that come out. And there's the security terminal right there. We've got Fiery Dragon right on the case. Let's have a look, make sure that these terminals are being taken down, by the way. Here we go. Continuously getting interrupted. Automated riot control systems. And we've got ourselves a shiny. We can't resist the collectibles. Damage report. 
And let's do a nice AoE there. And you can see we are doing very well so far. Great stuff. Onwards and upwards, we may yet survive. Now remember, we do not have any heals, folks. There we go. Now the other alternative that we do have, a little objective there. Alternative objective is, of course, to free these prisoners. And you do that literally just by using them like this. There we go. And we've got to do that before the time runs out as well, by the way. The high prisoners there. All right, good stuff. Doing well so far. You can see we have to also subdue Prince Ulgo. We've got to secure Hive Prisoners, three out of five, and secure the Gorilla Prisoners there. We've got two out of six. Let's do ourselves some securing. Just keeping an eye on everybody's health as we do this. All right, great work, guys. Absolutely fantastic. You can see three out of six of the Gorilla Prisoners. That's what we've got to do. We're nearly there. We're doing very well. Our DPS is fantastic. The team is fantastic. Great tanking. And we are surviving our very first hard mode tier one alert. And we've got ourselves a terminal here. Let's see if we can grab this. Fiery Dragon looks like he's on the case there. Nope. And here we go, trying again. Of course, to keep getting interrupted all the time. Automated riot control systems rebooted. Containing the target. Now these guerrilla prisoners are what we need. I think we have to actually take out everyone around first, so that we gain access. We go five out of six of the guerrilla prisoners secured. All right, boy, are we doing well or what? Fantastic group as always. You can always rely on the super zeros. Get ourselves a collectible. Automated riot control systems rebooted. Damage report. This unfortunate security bot was no match for the assailant. Now I do see we've got ourselves an objective here of fixing the security turrets three of four. And we've only done three, obviously. I'm not sure if they're back. It's been a while since I've done this. I can't remember. Prince Olgo of Gorilla City. Rise and serve Brainiac. All right, here is our first sub-boss, of course. I have been beaten, caged, but never controlled. Prince Olgo, and of course he is a formidable foe. Here you go, and somebody in the group, I didn't quite see who, unfortunately, took care of that. We've got to reboot the security terminal, and we've got to stop the prison break, so Looks like it's all up to us. Let's give the signal to go ahead. No! I will never be caged again! And we're getting knocked about here. I'm gonna pop my health pot and also pop my trinket there. And there we go, some fiery eyes of death on Prince Ulgo. Can we take him down? Looking like it. Looking pretty good so far. And using our heal there. Whoa, knocked right back. That's amazing. Look how far we were knocked back, folks. That is incredible. All right, and that is great. Yes, you can see Frost Strike, Frost Strike rather there is saying he's loving the DPS. Artifacts from past battles have been strewn across the entire level. All right, let's have a look at the loot here. We've got ourselves a vigorous belt of vitality. That takes a healer. I'm going to pass on that. And, of course, give the other guys a chance to grab some fat loot. All right, well done us. We did extremely well for our first boss there. Let's have a look at the map. 
and you can see we've got to move on we are about a third of the way through the instance and our objective now is to reboot the security terminal doing very well there we go all right let's move onwards give the signal now if you haven't run the watchtower before uh, it's pretty simple as long as you just keep following all of you keep following everything late. on the map we here. Integrated into the art of your prison functions. So if you always follow the objective, you're not going to get too lost. It's pretty good. Let's pop our trinket again there, which is basically a defense buff. And I think we've got someone dead. Quick, 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 can we get over there and rescue him? There we go, reviving a fallen team member. And we just made it through then. Whew! Alright, that's close. These hard mode T1 alerts are nothing to be snivelled at. They are very, very hard. And we're basically playing it at level. And you can see we're up against the special tasks guards here. These guys can be very rough and we made it through there. Let's wait wait for everyone to heal up. There we go, everyone's got their full health now. We'll carry on. And there we go, the guy's taking healing barrels and that is a great move. We need every piece of healing that we can get because of course we do not have a healer. And here we go, we've got the Neuromites. These guys can be very painful as well, knocking us about. And we've got the turrets as well. And look at that, Frost Strike is taking a lot of damage there. We've got these turrets, I am stunned there. We've got to make our way through here basically, try and get through without dying. Automated riot control systems. Trying to avoid the turrets at all costs. Alright, there we go. Yeah, those turrets, folks, you've got to roll out of the way. And try and make your way through this area. It's kind of like a gauntlet, I guess. And I'm going to pop my trinket once again. Frost Strike is down. Let's see if we can quickly revive him. Oh, and we weren't quite in time there. Let's see if we can see if we can do this terminal without getting interrupted. Boy, it is rough. Looks like we're gonna we're gonna die as well. Let's see if we can get some cover here. And also pick up a collectible while we're here. Riot control systems. Damage reward. It's safe to consider this blaster totaled. Alright, just made it through. Thanks to the amazing Super Zeros. So of course, again, just explaining that mechanic, folks, you actually have to take down those turrets or avoid them while you're fighting in here and try and get that terminal down. This is Oracle. Whatever you just did, it finally let me reconnect to the internal systems. We have to get Brainiac out of the watchtower. The security command room is up ahead. He's hacking into the terminal there. All right, we heard the Oracle. We've got to go reboot the security terminal. We've got to move on ahead. And you can see the guys there in the team saying, hey, Sambo, make sure you're blocking. And that is great advice too. Great advice to anybody as well. Here we go, the system hacker. The drone is our security hacker. Blow it up. That should short out the connections to our system. All right, that is our next sub boss, the security hacker. In we go. Automated riot control power deactivated. Gonna pick myself up a frost barrel here. You can see the guys have also got themselves some items. Let's throw the frost and in we go. Yeah. 
There we go, our word of power. Oh, and that may have been interrupted then. We're gonna pop our trinket. This guy is no easy boss. We've got our heal up too, which is great. It's just come off cooldown. And we're gonna use our laser eyes. Can we get this sister? Oh, look at that. And got myself knocked out. Let's see if the other guys can take him down. Hopefully they can. We'll just sit here and watch as we're knocked out because we want to see the Super Zeros here make a great job of this. You can see their health is right up there. I took one massive hit. Basically a one shot there. Let's see if we can get the guys to take down System Hacker. Can they do it? You can see his health is down there. See if he can get down. Oh, it's going to be close. All right, I'm going to actually release here and carry on. Let's see if we can make our way back. Have a look on the map. All right, so it's quite a way to go. Let's super speed our way back. And it looks like he's still alive, the system hacker. Because we can see the messages coming up there that he has released a security field. Oh, and am I locked out? It looks like I am. Oh dear, no, maybe not. Yes, I am locked out. That is no good. There we go. It looks like the guys actually took him down. Let's go forwards and try and find the rest of the team. All right, so either they were slightly unsuccessful or it reset. Not quite sure. All right, so it looks like they were unsuccessful. Here they all come. All right, let's form up again and hopefully... Hopefully this time I won't die. And we'll group up here. And we're just going to wait for the rest of the guys to appear. So we've got Frost Strike back. We've got Fiery Dragon back. And we've got Valgear. There we go. All right. Let's ask the guys if they're ready. There we go. We've asked the guys. Are we ready for a second try? And of course, folks, it's just, there we go, they're always keen. It's a good measure, by the way, just seeing this on film, knowing that it is not easy. It is not easy at all. All right, here we go. Let's see if we can freeze them first. All right, you can see that he's brought in reinforcements. And we're trying to block here as well. Let's do another laser eyes. And we'll get ourselves out of the way. Releases a static field. You must block when that happens. And there go the reinforcements as well. Let's lock onto this warden here. Here we go, taken down. And we block, block, block. All right, we were blocking then. We were, we actually did the right thing. And there we go, a warden. Let's take down this warden. All right, doing much better this time. And it looks like he is down. Congratulations. Can you reboot the terminal? That will restore security while I run a damage assessment. I need to know just how far Brainiac got into our systems. All right, well done, guys. Let's check out the loot that's dropped. We've got Blasters of Vengeance. It requires a controller, which, of course, I'm not. Analysis is still running. Don't wait. See if you can free Hawkman and Hawkgirl. Cam, show them trapped fairly close by. All right, so you heard the Oracle after that epic fight. And by the way, we did very well that second time around then. Everyone performing their roles extremely well. And you can see the importance, especially with myself, of blocking at the right time. You always get a warning come up there, which says, you know, he's going to release a static field. That is when you need to block. It's very tempting just to keep trying to attack him, but just stand there with your blocks up and you will survive that. All right, so our next objectives as 
the Oracle has told us help Hawkman and Hawkgirl to escape. If we have a look on our map here, you can see it's just up around the corner. We're about at the halfway mark, folks. So, you know, it's not an easy run. Never is when you're doing a hard mode alert. All right, let's do this thing. Following the objectives on the map, of course, you can see where the enemies are always. And just reminding you, we are in the Watchtower Containment Facility. And there it is, just come up on the map. And we are in our very first successful Hello, League Alert Brainiac. run of Tier 1 Keep difficulty. I'll pound them all! Alright, there we go. Help Hawkman and Hawkgirl to escape. And we've got a collectible over there as well. In we go. Let's get this thing going. We've got a Neuro Crawler there, which is being a right royal pain in the Jaxi. Locked onto him. Let's take him down. There we go. We've got ourselves a Neuro Might as well. Lots of action going on here. It is chaos. But we are successful. Must get her to the infirmary and see what damage they've done. Drive Brainiac from our watchtower. For the damage league! I'm not yes, that's right. For the, the league. For the Super Zeroes League, in fact, Hawkman. Emergency. I'm showing a strong Brainiac presence near the reactor core. This prison break was just to slow us down while they sabotaged the watchtower's power supply. If the core goes, the watchtower goes with it. Hurry! All right, you heard the woman. Thank you, Oracle. We need to stabilize the reactor. And by the way, over there, that is a teleporter so that you can get to these various areas quickly. If you die, you can actually teleport from the beginning. All right, so this is very cool. We are in the reactor area now. And you can see we've got these adherents and they hit very, very hard, by the way. Another collectible over there as well. We've got some loot. Let's greed on that. And here we go. We've got these servitors as well. And you can see we've also got an overwatch. And I got knocked back big time there. Ouch. Just going to pick up a frost barrel here. And you can see that the next part of this is upstairs as well, by the way, in case you were wondering. And you can see the neuro crawler here takes one heck of a beating too, by the way. Using our self-heal ability there, our skill rather than a healing potion. And we got this servitor. Let's take him down. Just managed to survive there. Nearly died. That was a bit nasty. All right, let's see if we can get ourselves this collectible. And here we go, the Overwatch. Took him down. Great job, Super Zeros. You can see we're trying to clear out the entire reactor facility here. That's our goal. And got ourselves another Neuro Crawler. These guys are certainly tough. I'm going to pop my defense trinket there. And what a great job we're doing. It's not easy, but we are managing to survive. We'll just make sure that everyone has enough health here. Wait for Fiery Dragon to get their health up. There we go. More Neuromites. Fantastic stuff. There we go. And of course, using this terminal. Automated riot control systems. Rebooted. Alright, so we're still having to stabilize the reactor. Onwards and upwards, everybody has full health. 
doing such a great job in this hard mode tier 1 alert. And yeah, these Neuro Strikers, boy, do they take a beating. I detect a threat. Certainly got to be on our guard here, folks, as we make our way through this awesome instance here of the Watchtower Containment Facility. And everyone doing such an amazing job as well. Gonna grab, <clears throat> excuse me, grab these because they certainly come in handy. Every bit of DPS that we can add to the party helps, of course. There we go. Onwards and upwards for the Super Zeros. Oops, I missed my mark. Yikes! There we go. It can be a labyrinth, even though it's nice and easy to get around if you have a look at the map. It's still sometimes easy to take a wrong turn. There we go. You can see we're nearing the end of this section. And here we are, right inside the reactor core. Look at that, folks. Power is surging in the reactor core. The forces there are powerful, but there aren't that many of them. He must be planning to use the core itself against us somehow. Whoa! Massive drain on the reactor core. The Brainiac signature just flared like you wouldn't believe. It's creating a deadly feedback loop into the core. You have to stop it before it destroys the watchtower and everyone in it. All right, here we go. Brainiac Eradicator. This is this is a rough one. This is a real rough one. All right, let's have a look. Just Frost Strike has pasted some stuff in here and it's great advice too he's saying a couple of things here in case you don't know the bloss the bloss the boss splits every minute or so into many small guys each one we kill damages the boss and once the boss hits 10 percent try to stay ranged and that's great advice too you need to stay out of his melee area there are also a lot of knockbacks in this fight so be careful and there we go we'll say thank you very much Right, so is there any kind of barrel we can pick up? I think we've sort of used them up. Yeah. All right, so off we go. I think we're ready to rock. Going to grab myself a healing barrel, perhaps. That might. Actually, no, I might leave that there because that'll probably come in handy later on. All right, bring it on, the Eradicator. And you can see, of course, we've got ourselves a collectible there as well. Using some blocks here. And I'm going to pop my trinket so that it comes online a bit later on. And the same as well with my with my healing potion. And I am going to get out of the way because yikes, I need to regain my health. Releasing drones. And here we go, the drones are here. We need to take these down because they do damage the boss. And I wish my soda would come online. I'm gonna do some ranged fighting here while we wait for my soda to cool down. And we'll do a nice eye zap from a distance. All right, there we go. Time for a soda and to get in there. Performance in here. Critical damage. Using our self heal. And let's get ourselves out of the way. Critical damage. 
And we're going to use use our zappy zappy eyes. And time to get out of the way and use some ranged abilities. Some more laser eyes. Aren't the guys doing absolutely fantastic? Look at that. We've nearly got him down. And we are victorious! Oh, Woo! Well, the core has been salvaged and you managed to limit the damage Brainiac's done. Oh, and saved everyone in the Watchtower. I call that a good day's work. I call that a great day's work as well. There we go. A number of up. achievements there that are popping up. Defenses. As always, going to run through the stats. Thanks. You can pause the video if you'd like to see all of these stats. You can see the healing, the power, the DPS, the knockouts. Of course, I died. Wouldn't be a Sambo NZ episode if I didn't die. There we go. But look at that. What a fantastic effort. That is amazing. We've got ourselves a speed run. We've got the speed feat as well. Now, where is everybody? We're missing one, Valgear, there we go. Let's line up over here. Make sure that we can get ourselves a nice group shot. Come on over, Fire Dragon and Frost Strike. There we go. Let's give ourselves a cheer. Woohoo! That is fantastic. First things first, let's have a look at the loot. We got ourselves some sharp spiked Cestus, and that is a brawling weapon, so I'm going to pass on that one. And of course, we go into our achievements. Let's have a look here. Go into the, where are we, the feats. There we go, we got a fast responders, complete the watchtower containment facility, alert in 30 minutes or less. Well done guys, that is absolutely fantastic. Great to get a achievement when we're doing the league run of course, absolutely brilliant. But that is it folks, we are absolutely awesome. If you ask me, Fiery Dragon, Frost Strike and Valgear, what an amazing team, that is awesome. This is the watchtower containment facility, hard mode T1. Tier 1 alert and we cleared it. We had a couple of deaths in there, but at the end of the day, what a fantastic, fantastic run. Everyone really performing as a team. I am so proud of the Super Zeros. It is amazing. We've done it. That's the first for the league, our very first hard mode league down. So let's hope it's the first of many into the future. So there you go, folks. Certainly hope you enjoyed that episode. On behalf of myself, Sambo, MZ, Blaze Purple, and of course, the wonderful for a fiery dragon, frost strike, and veil gear. It's us saying take care. Certainly hope you're having a great day wherever in the world you are. We look forward to seeing you in the next League Alert. Until then, it's us saying see you later and bye bye.